no shot. So I'm not part of the interview, so I might as well go. Now it's about 11.30 am. Ate my pastries and that's good enough. So, time to chop chop. If I go there, I'll actually just say hi to uh, you see like that. Say hi to the captain first. <laughs> captain? Hello. Hi, uh, how, how are, are you? you? Fine, fine. Okay, okay. Is that still running? Uh? Yeah, still running. <laughs> oh, man, okay, cool. Post you mind? Huh? Do you mind? Yeah, 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 sure, it's okay. But, like, so, thanks a lot. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot for your website, like Cosplay Fun Malaysia, oh. right? Oh, cool. Uh, for the past two years, I've been using it just to see the the yeah. schedules and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's oh, very thank useful. You. Thank you, cool. Thank very you useful. for your support. Mm. So, yeah. how is this event? Um, it it uh, really exciting because like uh, I, I I had a little video log and uh, uh, because at the Yori no Mizu's event, the voice actor event. Then like, eh, I heard got manga festival, got manga car coming down to give autograph session. Lah. How come we don't know about it? <laughs> so then later, like, yeah, lah, after all the research, yeah, yeah, going here, going there, going to Isitan, finding out, going on the website, you know, Google. Mm. Oh, Google. you had to actually do all this research yourself? Ah, yeah, to find out what, and then after piece it together, oh, it's more than just one thing that is Japan Weekend. It's all under Japan Weekend, ah. which is this uh, press conference is unveiling all about. Lah. Mm -hmm. So, and then after that, after I thought, oh, I thought maybe people were very interested in the manga. I mean, manga car coming down, you know, mm. current artists. They are doing manga in the four of them, la. Yeah, four of them, and yeah, you know, actually sign, signing autograph, mm. la, You know. Are you going oh, there? Wow. I don't think I'll be able to make it after this. I gotta go home and talk to the kids. Uh, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about the concert for tonight? Yeah, that one also, much yeah, la. It's my shift, la, Later afternoon um, and evening shift okay. <laughs> to look after the the, the kids, you know. So really unfortunate, but you know, hopefully that's why. Right, hopefully, this is the beginning of uh, more Japanese yeah, stuff. More, or even Japan weekend every year, you know, that can be looking forward to that, that'll be cool. Uh. Okay. Yeah. But there was a Jalan Jalan Japan in uh, in uh, one city. Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. There's a mm. store, right? Mm. That just opened? Yeah. I think it's only for like three days. I'm not sure. Oh, it's really? quite cheap. I, I thought it's actually a shop. Oh, it's like a bazaar, is it? Or something? Uh, the stuff that Japanese people don't want, they end oh. up here. Oh. Yeah, I saw some, you know, like, when you have friends, right, of the same interest, they pick up, like, oh, some old uh, retro toys. You know, ah, like, it's uh, cheaper. I'm like, whoa. Okay, like, that one is, like, calling me to go there. Uh, but, but I actually thought it's a shop, like, you know, like a it, Daiso or, uh, like, a... No, no, I think it's only for a while. I, I'm not sure, actually. No, no. It's quite cheap. You buy Ultraman, it's, like, six ringgit. Yeah, I know, right? Like, six ringgit instead of 30 ringgit outside retail. So clothes and shoes and, okay, I don't know whether it's... You know, love or pre-loved or bundle, you know, I don't know what's all that about, but it just looks interesting enough for me to go check it out. Okay. When you have the, okay, at least that one can bring the kids, right? So. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> While it still lasts, like, I think a lot of people are really taken. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's much love like, for Japan in Malaysia. Okay. Know, our folks, yeah, yeah. So, thank you very much, Captain. You're welcome. Mm. It's a goal, like, last time I saw you, so I had What? You know me? Kids. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. How come? <laughs> oh. Hey, my face also, recently the... you commented on the Facebook page as well. Ah. But I've seen you before, like any Mangaki, and uh, that was like two no. years ago. How come I never seen you? Huh? This is the first time I'm seeing you. Uh, ninja. Ninja. Oh, really? Yeah? Uh. Oh, really? Yeah? No, no, I've seen you before, but uh, at the events. Uh, 2014 STGCC, I was there. 2014, yes, I was there as well. Uh. Hey, wait, 14? Uh? Uh. No, I was there. La. No, 2014, I was there. Okay. I was there also. The, this year, did you go? Ah, uh, no, I didn't go like this. I couldn't make it. Yeah, it's a yeah. thing, it's almost the same old thing. Ah, uh, yeah, lah. but that's why for me, as long as American artists, they keep rotating and changing, that's pretty cool. Lah. Oh, you, you like the like comics, the American comics? Yeah, lah. that's right. I grew up reading this kind of stuff lah, you know, when I was young, so mm. it's kind of still attached. And then now with all the you know Marvel movies and all, like, oh. Uh, it's getting a bit boring already, the Marvel movies. There are a lot of them. Well, like uh, the recent one, Doctor Strange, you can oh, see they're trying to... IMAX, diversify is it? and all, yeah. You should watch it. To. Yeah? You watch it. Uh, actually, 
I watched it in IMAX, I watched it in normal, and uh, yesterday I just watched it again. <laughs> oh, so it's very entertaining. Yeah, and uh, it's opening up another realm, and it's a bit fresh also, actually. I found it fresh compared to the other heroes and all. Very, I, thought very it, different. I thought it was like a lot of critics have said that it's the same old thing because at the end there's a what? What's happening? Mm -hmm. Destruction of something, then they turn back time, kind of, or something mm -hmm. like it's magic. Uh -huh. So it's uh, magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time they're definitely introducing magic, lah. No, so. no, no consequences to oh. everything. You know. um, Redcon stuff here and there. So it's kind of well, well, like like the, like the other guy, the like a uh, Mordo keeps saying in the movie. There's no you pretend you're doing like there's no consequence. So hmm. I'm very sure maybe they're hinting a lot of that, and then later maybe Doctor Strange too they'll say uh, what was the consequence of doing that the last time. It makes for more storytelling, lah. So, we'll see how. so you, I mean, how did you actually come about with this uh, website, the cosplay fun? Is it because of cosplay? Yeah, initially it was started because uh, wanted to promote cosplay uh, uh, in a in a positive way and uh, also help get it more exposure, like, more positive exposure. This was like in 2010. We decided to start it, start it, and now. And then since then, like, oh my goodness, every year, boom, you know, it's multiplying. And oh yeah, I am thinking there are, mm -hmm. are too many events. Uh. It's like very mm. saturated already. Now there's a lot of events and that's why I also feel like, okay, la, maybe Same don't shame, have la. to fo focus so much on cosplay anymore, la, especially cosplay events. Because every single weekend, there's like two, three yeah, the cosplay competitions or cosplay-centric events, you know. The shopping complexes are into the game, so they correct, have it. Correct, correct, yes. That's right. Then it, and they also knowing that if we have it, you know, we can just get people to come or, you know, young people to come. And that's kind of like, yeah, you know, quite stereotype and straightforward. Like that's mm, that's know, more like a business already, uh, the commercializer. Uh, definitely, definitely. Mm. Which one is your favourite cosplay event? Favourite cosplay event? Besides Comic Fiesta. Mm. Oh, they're having it in PWTC, uh, mm. this yeah. year, not this in... Year. Not in KLCC or the convention yeah, center. Yeah, in, in, in the mines. Not even the last year they had it in the mines. And uh, even comic, uh, cosplay event. Wait, how was I it? Don't really have Did it, you huh? go to the mines? Um, I went to the mines but not for comic fiesta though. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, last year the Naruto live spectacle was there. That was good. Okay. Uh, did no. you hear about that? No, one? Mm, no, no. no. Only know about this here uh, in the Budaya Center. That ah, I think it's going to be a better venue though, Istana Budaya, for the for the live uh, spectacle, mm. a musical, or even a yeah, theatrical play. Okay, so besides uh, cosplay, right? Mm -hmm. What else are you interested in? Games, comics, like I mentioned earlier. I'm a big fan of uh, Marvel, DC, kind of Western comic stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also play games, you know, actually with the little time I have, like, you know, once or twice a month. <laughs> Which, uh, Still have my which Marvel character that you wish they would turn into a movie? Actually, they already did. Like, Captain America is my favorite, so. Captain America. That's my big favorite, yeah. And then, uh, what else is there? Basically, yeah, like, Captain America is. I grew up reading Captain America. Okay. In the in the 80s, or reading the comics, and really enjoy like, Steve Rogers as Captain America. You see, is there going to be a future Captain America 3? The one we had was Civil War, basically. <laughs> Yeah, Civil War, um, I just know that for a fact that Steve Rogers will be there and he will no longer be Captain America, like, that's quite sure. Steve Rogers will be there but somebody else will become Captain America. Is he a black guy? Uh, the black guy in the comics is the current Captain America, which is the, the Falcon, Sam Wilson. And uh, before that in the comics, he was actually Bucky carrying the, the mantle of Captain America while Steve Rogers was, uh, you know, the super soldier, they call him. And uh, you know he was wearing his blue uniform with, with the logo on it. Yeah. Is the Red Skull still alive? Or, or is they it the... haven't killed him off? Oh really? Uh, in in the movie universe, they haven't killed him off. In the He's like transported the... to another dimension. Oh, the comic. He died a long time in, ago, in but the comic he dies, then he comes back again. Oh, he the, dies, because of the again. Marvel events, <laughs> yes. What do you think about the Marvel events? Uh? I mean, every year they kind of like mm -hmm. retcon everything, Infinity Wars or whatever. It's just uh -huh. kind of like. Like magic, it just f things up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pe people die, then they come back. They come back again. That's another right. dimension. It's I, just they, they have to have something to write about. That's why I think uh, there's always a lot of reboots and rebirth and 
new uh, rewrites and all. So, well, I guess it's the quality of the story, lah. You know, whether you like it or you don't like it. Now, now Marvel is into exploring uh, the same character but in a different gender. You know, Thor is a female. Ah. You know, uh, the new Iron Man is a is a is a girl also. Yeah, I did not know that the the power of the Thor is actually in the helmet. Mm -hmm. Hel is it helmet type of sure. power? The Thor power. Ah, it's actually hel Whoa, that's is a good a question. La. I thought it was Thor, a hammer. Basically, yeah, yeah, it was a hammer, and uh, it was basically it was a son of Odin. So that's where his power and strength came from already. Uh. The mm. weapon was uh, the, the, the the hammer was a complementary, you know, uh, weapon for him, forged by the father just. Uh, oh, okay. For him to. So I'm surprised that you know of me. So thank you very much. <laughs> This is the first time I'm seeing you and you saw me somewhere else. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I've seen you at least a few times before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. always alone. Uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Captain... Alan, yeah. Alan. Alan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, known as uh, the Captain. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for this Thank interview. You're welcome.